Right, right. Um, I don't know if you understand this question, Guy, because um, I'm not so sure I do. Uh, why, why does Guy want to preserve civilization? I don't, do you do you go on record as wanting to preserve civilization? You get this one. It's really interesting. For years, I viewed civilization as an omnicidal heat engine that was destroying all life on Earth. And, you know, it's, civil, it's industrial civilization that fouls the air and dirties the water. And yes, we're part of it. But even if we remove the three of us from industrial system, civilization, the system grinds on and continues to foul the air and dirty the water and erode the soils and cause the extinction of species. So, of course, I'm not a fan of any of that. But then along comes the aerosol masking effect, global dimming. And now we know, since... 2013, the radical impact of a relatively minor reduction in industrial activity. A relatively minor reduction in industrial activity is sufficient to cause the global average temperature rise that will, because of the rate of change, lead to the loss of habitat for humans and other species. So for years, and, and this is the example I was trying to set when I left active service at the university, when I walked away in 2009 and wished that everybody else would follow my lead, it's because civilization was having all these untoward impacts. And so I thought if I just led the way, people would follow along. But that was before there was a single refereed journal article right. on the aerosol mask effect. The first paper came out in December 2011. The really important one followed up a couple of years later. And then, then I realized civilization, industrial activity as a proxy for civilization is critical, is critical. If we don't maintain industrial activity, the planet heats up even faster. So... As a scientist, again, I'm agnostic, I'm indifferent, whatever. It's not good, it's not bad, it just is. It's consistent with my Buddhist philosophical tendencies as well. But as a humane human being, recognizing the profound impact of rapid changes in global average temperature, I'm, I've got to wish for an attempt to retain civilization industrial activity, because if we don't, a, a relatively minor decline in industrial activity leads to loss of habitat in the very near term for human beings. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, just thinking. I'm not going to go on record and say I want everybody to die. Therefore, I'm a fan of industrialized activity. Mm -hmm. And I recognize that it's horrible. 